Okay, so I definitely just made a, uh, you can say rookie mistake, but I don't know what happened there. Apparently it didn't record the entire conversation I just had with the camera. I don't know why, but, um, so I, uh, I got a question to raise for y'all. Um, as we drive through Indy and, uh, Indiana, 27 miles south of Indy, going to Wrestler, or however you say that. Um, I'm considering uh, changing the channel name from, you know, my name uh, to like Mike's Life or something like that since y'all were wanting to see, well, since apparently y'all were wanting to see more of the trucking stuff. Not going to lie, it was kind of refreshing to film something other than, you know, truck driving. Because, let's be honest about it, it's, it's really a lot of the same footage. But, um, let me know what y'all think about that. If y'all like it, I'll uh, change the channel name. If it's simple, if it's something like creating a whole new channel or something like that, I'm not going to worry about it. But if it's a, a simple change, then yeah, I'll, I'll go for the change. Uh, so leave a comment down below and uh, let me know what you think. But I'm going to throw it on time lapse here real uh, momentarily uh, so y'all can see the drive through Indianapolis. I don't know if it's going to be busy. I don't know if it's going to be, you know, smooth going. Uh, one of the channel viewers slash friends slash gaming buddy. Uh, he, he, he's probably saying, yep, yeah, it's going to be crappy or nah, you'll get through Indy, no problem. But, uh, here's a little shout out to Jason Kent. If, um, buddy, if you'll leave a comment down below and throw a channel in there, uh, he's got a house tour video that honestly I still have to watch, but I haven't had time to watch it. And, um, he used to live in kind of close to Indy and he moved away a couple hours away. Uh, got to meet up with him. Actually, the last time I came through Indiana, I met up met met up with him. Don't exactly remember where, but it was uh, not too far from where I'm delivering. I don't think. And um, so yeah, but as I said, uh, I think a few seconds ago, I'm going to throw it in the time lapse uh, right before we get ready to pass this. Uh, military truck thing. I don't know what it is. It's not, I don't think it's a deuce and a half. It's the smaller version of that. And uh, enjoy the music and enjoy the time lapse. Talk to you in a few.
Good morning from the great flat state of nothingness, Illinois. Left out of Decatur at about, I think it's like right at 2 a.m. Central Time. Headed to Bridgeport, Alabama. I am 380 miles away. I got a long day ahead of me. I'm gonna try to, um, hopefully I get a load out of Bridgeport to go home. A, it's only six hours away from the house, only. And B, if it's ready, I might could possibly make it to the south side of Atlanta, which would be awesome. Otherwise, I got a six and a half hour drive early in the morning. Um, definitely, uh, <laughs> not going to have time to run recaps next week. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't. Because by the time I end today, I'm probably looking at right at 11 hours total. So I won't even have a full 14 hour shift Saturday. And uh, Illinois has got some terrible roads. Jason, you were right, dude. This camera with the hyper smooth boost or whatever it's got on it does not do it justice at all. I would consider getting in the left lane, but um, yeah, I'm stuck at 65. There's no point. All I was doing is asking to get pulled over. And I'm pretty sure I'm slightly overweight right now. I uh, got loaded yesterday, live loaded. Uh, the bills say 43,000 pounds, but I'm sitting at like 77,000. And I've got, when I scaled out, uh, about five eighths on the tanks. I'm just under full right now, I topped off 120 miles till the next weigh station. So I was like, eh, I need to fill up now, that way I know I got a better chance of not being overweight. Even though I have an APU exemption letter, but um, my axle weight drive tires are the only ones that are close. And when I scaled out, given I've got my tandems, pretty sure I got them as far forward as I can legally go, uh, according to the little 41 foot arrow on the trailer. Um, I'm at 33,860. So 140 pounds to the good at five eighths of a tank. So setting on just under full and I didn't uh, top off my depth like I normally do every other tank. You know, just trying to find ways to not increase my weight as much as possible. Yet still have go-go juice to get down the road. On the bright side, I got 65 or 67 gallons of TA. So I got a shower in the bank for TA. So I don't have to pay for a shower next time I go to a TA. Which is where I plan on stopping if I make it to Jackson. Um, I'll pay for reserve parking. But I get reimbursed that. We don't get reimbursed showers, sadly. So, but there's your early morning update. I'm going to focus on the road ahead. Oh, by the way, it is 36 degrees outside right now. It's cold as balls. And, um, I seen as low as 31 and uh, in, in kind of like a farming area on, what is that? I think 32 I was on at the time in Illinois. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's cold. Too cold for this guy. I'm going back south where it's a little warmer. Hopefully this guy, you know, thanks me because I let him know he was clear, yeah. Good job, Peckerhead. You're welcome. See, it's crap like that that makes you not want to, you know, do the, the common courtesy, let them know they're clear or back out of the, you know, the, the go pedal. It's like, cause there's a bunch of asshats 
that really need to turn in their CDLs. Professional freaking steering wheel holders, that's all they are. I'm giving you the courtesy, letting you know you're clear. The least you can do is thank me. Like that guy. See, you're welcome, dude. I would be willing to let him in again because he thanked me. I'm just kind of letting the cruise control do what it does. It's an adaptive cruise, so it'll slow down and get the appropriate gap as needed. He's running 71, I'm running 64. 64 is what the truck's saying, 63 is what the GPS is saying. I'm going off GPS, I think it's more accurate. But anyhow, once I get close to Bridgeport, I'll fire the camera back up and uh, let y'all see how that works. See you in a while. Done fueling in his truck, the guy moved, and he's still sitting here. People are freaking idiots. I want to give y'all raw truck sounds. Going through this jank intersection construction area in Chattanooga.
got me an idiot. Retard. In one mile, keep right to I-75 South. the two right lanes. Seventy-five. What's up, y'all? So, been a while since we've seen this view, huh? Uh, it is 7.30 in the morning. I'm on my way to the house. Well, kind of. Um, I'm actually going to stop and make a delivery first, take an empty home, and then that way Monday, yeah, I'm just heading straight north. Oh my gosh, this road is annoying right now. Just blah, 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 blah. way annoying um but yeah i figured i'd i'd see how this mount worked uh if i don't like it i'll change it up oh my goodness georgia fix your shit it's the worst i've ever noticed it might be the way i got the weights on it too i meant like somewhere around eleven thousand steer axle thirty thousand uh drop tires and 33.6 on the trailer tires so it could be something dealing with weight distribution the reason why i'm noticing it so bad but i haven't really started noticing it until about two miles ago actually right before i set up the camera um so yeah i got on the road about well two something central but really three something actually overslept my alarm so i'm running an hour behind what i had planned on running and all I'm gonna say is thank gosh I'm going southbound because northbound 75, two major wrecks. Uh, now the one got caught on camera because they were too short notice and I didn't have, don't have my remote yet. I might uh, try to convince uh, my old lady to go to Best Buy today and I'll see if they got one and I'll get another one. Um, and then when I get that other one back, I'll just, I'll have a backup. So, sorry for the little bit of static there with the movement of the seat belt. And uh, that would make my life a lot easier too versus having to, you know, reach up and stuff like that. Probably a little, a little on the safer side. Um, plus, I think we might be able to get some plugs uh, for our litter robots because the cables have seen better days and they kind of stopped giving power to the robot so we're old school litter scooping 
even though we don't litter scoop, we just dump the litter out in the ground because it's clay litter and till it up in the dirt. Uh, when I, I'm gonna try to get a burn permit today, uh, if I get that, then y'all might see some, you know, outside of trucking stuff, or I might even do a two-part video, you know, part one and a part two. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what the uh, timing is for length and um, I was about to say riding my ass ain't going to accomplish anything I am governed at 65 and I'm actually running 66 right now because I'm going down a slight hill you're not going to get me going any faster car but um oh what was I going to say yeah, so I might, you know, film some of that, film some of the uh, prep work, film the fire and stuff and, and whatnot. But we'll see. I gotta, I gotta go to Love today to turn up my trip back once I get this delivery done. But I'm not doing that in the truck because I'd have to go north and back south, and then it's just a waste of time. I'll just do that whenever I'm in the personal truck. It's not that big of a deal. I don't know what all Ashley's got planned for me today either. So. But anyhow, hopefully y'all enjoy the content this week. Um, tried to kind of get back in the rhythm of things and whatnot. Having a week off and doing that was a, a breath of fresh air. And um, once I get shut down at the house, I'll uh, fire the old camera back up and give y'all the old end of the week recap. Instead, I decided to go away from daily because daily is kind of overkill. So we'll just do uh, end of the week to recap. But until then, I got about 89 miles to my customer and then, you know, a little more driving after that to get home. I'll see y'all when we get to the house. What's up, y'all? All right, so as y'all can see, Made it to the house, finally, 10.45. Uh, ended the week with 31.83 or 31.87 on the truck. So, pretty good week. Uh, trailer's empty right now. Just got done doing that delivery and um, overall, been a pretty productive week. It is time to uh, go inside, clean up, and enjoy the rest of the day. <laughs> as i just surprised the old lady <laughs> so y'all have a good one we'll see you next week